Well, what we're looking at here is a piece by artist Yinka Shonibare titled The Sleep of Reason Produces Monster Zero. Now, if this looks familiar, it's because this painting is based off the etchings by Francisco de Goya, created in circa 1799, also titled The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters. First, let's analyze Goya's work. This was the 43rd of 80 satiric aquatic prints created by Goya called Los Capricos. These were used as constructive social criticism for Spanish society at the time. The caption for this piece reads, Fantasy abandoned by reason produces impossible monsters. United with her, she is the mother of the arts and the origin of their marvels. Back to Yinka's first piece of Europe, we see a white male at a desk with drawing tools, with his head buried in his arm sleeping. This to me really relates to the caption on Goya's work. This man, who has fallen asleep and given up on reason, has clearly let fantasy run wild in his dreams, spawning impossible monsters. These monsters being a wild cat, bats, owls, and a black cat, all having an association to evil. I'm thinking that at one point, this human was awake and thinking, using reason and fantasy, the mother of the arts to make beautiful work, but all is lost as his mind slips to slumber and reason is abandoned. Knowing Yika Shonabare, this probably has some hidden meaning. You're right! What I'm thinking is this could relate to the relationship between Europe and Africa. Yes, maybe one interpretation for this piece is that Europeans have been using as Goya says, the mother of arts and origin of their marvels, fantasy and reason, to create beautiful work and living for themselves. But as Europe metaphorically begins to sleep and loses reason, they create monsters. Well, for me trying to see in an African's perspective, the Europeans wouldn't create the monsters. They would be the monsters. But aren't the monsters in this piece part of a dream? And don't dreams affect us and how we behave? In a way, your actions reflect your dreams. Wow, Ollie, great point. I also think that in addition, Europe literally made the monsters. Really? How so? Well, Ollie, when the Europeans first entered Africa, they brought a state system to a largely tribal continent. And when the Europeans withdrew from their colonies, they left arbitrarily drawn borders, no air for control of the African people, and traces of Westphalian sovereignty, or state system. With this unfortunate inheritance, warlords and dictators rose up to take advantage of the disorder in Africa. These tyrants are seen as monsters, and in my mind, European colonization played a heavy role in this. Shonabari created many of these pieces, one for Europe, Australia, Asia, America, and Africa. One for every continent. One thing that is different about these pieces than Goya's original is that the words on the side of the desk while having the same translation for the first four lines, Shonabari's pieces add a fifth, saying in whatever continent he is representing. The language on the side of the desk has also changed from Spanish to French, maybe because Africa was largely colonized by the French. That's quite possibly so. I'd also like to address one thing I noticed about the race of each sleeping man in the series. Every man looks similar to someone you'd associate to the region. For example, the American man is white, rather than Native American, most likely associated to the USA, due to the U and S on his sleeve. The Australian is white, rather than Aboriginal, because Australians are widely thought of as white. And the Asian is Asian. The only discrepancy is that the African is white. Shinobari did this on purpose. I believe this has to do with how heavily Africa is influenced by European culture and ideology. Yes! Sonabari was trying to capture how muddled up the world really is, and you can't just have a clean cut. Metaphorically, Africans can't just be black, because cultures mix and blend, sometimes for the better, and sometimes not. Yeah, even Africa has left its little mark on everyone. Every continent's representative is wearing African prints. Haha! <laughs> oh, Ollie! Even that isn't so simple. Those prints are actually Indonesian designs manufactured by the Dutch. <laughs> Sounds like I need to brush up on my history. In the meantime, see you later. Oh, no.